Hey everyone, Sam from United People's TV here. How are we doing? Just here with a quick reaction after Van House press conference ahead of West Brom on Saturday. A um, few things to talk about. Main main one obviously is the team news. Uh, Van Howe has said that there are no more fresh injury concerns. That means that Antonio Valencia is still out of the game. Uh, Morgan Schneidlin did train this week, but he was ill, so he missed the game on Wednesday. And he has trained yesterday, and I think he's training today. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think he's training today, uh, so it's not sure whether he'll start or not. Um, we've got Carrick, we've got Schweinsteiger and Herrera and Fellaini. So Schneiderlin is our most important midfielder, and I really hope he is fit to start. But if he doesn't, we should have enough strength in that position to cope without him for one or two games. Uh, Matteo Darmian is obviously out of the game because he's suspended. So with Darmian out and Valencia out, Asher Young is probably going to play right back. I'm not sure what anyone makes of that. Let me know your comments below. Do you think Ashley Young's good enough to play right back? Personally, I think he's actually quite good there. Um, he's, he's turning into the John O'Shea, isn't he, of his generation. He's played left back, right back, left wing, striker, right wing. Probably played centre mid at some point as well. He'll be in goal next week at some point, probably. Um, probably the most interesting point that Van Howe made in his press conference was how <coughs> he was asking fans... Not to boo the players, but to boo him. Because obviously on Wednesday, inside Old Trafford, there were some audible boos. Mainly, slash, the only time it happened is when Martial was substituted and Fellaini came on. Uh, I'm not sure if Van Howe's misunderstanding the fans' boos here, but the fans weren't booing the players, Louis. They were booing your decision to take Martial off. So he's saying, aim your criticism at me, not at the players. And that's exactly what the fans were doing. And that's exactly what the fans have been doing. You know, a chance of attack, attack, attack. We're Man United, we want to attack. They're not having a go at the players. They're criticising Van Howe's tactics. Now, we came away with a 1-0 win against Moscow. Thanks to a really, really good goal. Nice pass from Carrick. Excellent cross by Lingard. And Rooney, if... if, if to be fair to him, it was a great finish. Um, as much as I want to criticise Rooney, not want to criticise, but I have been criticising Rooney, fairly, deserves praise for that. Really good finish. But it was a tight 1-0 win, and it took us till the 79th minute to break Moscow down. That's not... I mean, it, 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 that's going to appease fans, but... I don't know what I'm getting at here. I know exactly what I'm getting at, but we've all been talking about it. Fans want to see United with more pace. And it was that, in that first 15 minutes against Moscow, we were really, really good going forward. And this is what's most, fr most frustrating about United right now. It's not as if we can't do it. It's not as if we don't have the players to do it. We can do it. It just seems to be a choice to do it or not to do it. And that obviously comes from the manager himself. Uh, as we showed away at Everton, we can be electric. 3-0 at Goodison Park. Especially given that we played Arsenal the game before, cold context of that, nobody expected that sort of performance and we blitzed them 3 0. First 15 minutes against Moscow, we pushed them right in the back foot. We were pressure, pressure, pressure. We obviously didn't score, which was a shame, but it was that incessant pressure that forced them to sit deeper. Um, Moscow did come to sit deep. Uh, they're away from home in the Champions League. It's, mo it's what most teams do away from home in the Champions League. But what United fans want to see is that first 15 minutes replicated over a full 90. There's absolutely no reason why we can't do it. It's, it's a choice. It's a conscious choice. Obviously, United haven't conceded in about seven hours of football now. So that in itself is fantastic. So there's, it's about finding that balance. And Van Howe's favourite buzzword is balance. And right now, United don't particularly have that balance. Uh, but at the same time, again, I've mentioned this in, in previous reactions to press conferences, um, if players were finishing better, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation because we are creating chances. Not enough of them, maybe, but we are creating chances and players just aren't taking them. Um, there, was, there, was, there was more than one occasion against Moscow where we could have scored, but we only ended up with one goal. One goal proved to be enough. Um, and the Palace game as well. We had about 15 shots, I think, but only four or five on target. United's finishing has to improve as well as maybe Van Howe balancing out these tactics somewhat and emphasising a little bit more on attack. But in the same vein, he obviously doesn't want to lose this defensive 
streak we're on. It's, it's a great streak. It really is. And right, we've got the best defence in the Premier League right now, which says a lot. But United over the years have always built themselves on scoring more goals than the opposition, not locking it out. Fergie, Fergie was famous for his 1-0 wins, but that was when the time was right. Uh, it feels like Van Gaal would be happy going through 38 games of the season with 1-0 wins. Um, and you'd, you'd win the league at that point, so you couldn't really argue. But it's a strange situation United fans are finding themselves in right now. We're very frustrated with, with the lack of attacking football. But if we're winning like we're winning against Moscow, which was the first time in four games, remember, three consecutive 0-0 draws and one one all draw against Moscow before that 1-0 win. It's about finding that balance, and um, I don't think Van Hal's finding him right now. He's strengthened up the defence so much that there seems to be a lack of identity going forward. Uh, Jesse Lingard really changed that, I feel. Um, his pace and directness against Moscow was so refreshing to see, and especially from you know a youth player from the academy, who didn't really have that sort of style to his game at the academy. So he's, he's growing as a player. Uh, Fergie said he'd be ready for the team when he was 22, and it looks like he is. Lingard's playing very well, and Van Hal's indicated that he'll probably start against West Brom. Said he likes how fast he is, he likes having pace on the wings. We all do. We want those pace on the wings. We want Lingard out there. We want Memphis out there. We want Martial through the middle. That's electric. That's, that's what we want to see. Uh, just hasn't been that. And maybe playing Matter on the right wing is slowing us down. Because he's not the fastest, is he? But at the end of the day, we've got a home game against West Brom, who have travelled very well this season. They've only conceded a few away from home, so it won't be any pushover. And they'll also have ex-Reds Johnny Evans and Danny, Darren Fletcher playing for them. But United are at home. United have a great record at home this season, and we've got the better team. We should be beating West Brom at home. Um, and hopefully, I mean, it will be atrocious again if we go into the international break off, off the back of a loss like we did with the Arsenal humiliation because that really lets it fester and when it festers it can get to a problem. United need to finish this week on a high with a good win over West Brom. If we can do that we can look, in, we can look forward to the international break and we can look upwards. If we don't come away with a win against West Brom there's going to be a whole lot of time for a whole lot of questions to be asked during the international break. And it will just be a bit mundane. So, Common United, three points against West Brom. That's it about. That's it from Van House press conference reaction. Let me know below what you think about the press conference. I feel. I feel good about the game on Saturday. I, I think we should take it to them. We should control it. But will we score goals? I hope we do. I really hope we do. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be at the game uh, outside Old Trafford. So make sure you speak to Dan and Ira. Uh, and I'll see you later. Take it easy. Hey everyone, Sam from United People's TV, here on Friday, here with a 60 second roundup for you, let's get straight to it. First up, it's great to see Luke Shaw is back walking without crutches.